Hiya ladies, it's me. I'm just nipped back to show you some more spoons. Not this one, because I've already shown you this one. And this was done with plastic spoons, like I told you. But, after I'd done that one, I thought I'd do, I wanted something in my bedroom, actually. And, um, so I've done these spoons. Now these are in a, a frame box, you know, with the glass. And, this is the one really that I used more of the extra thick glitter, uh, glass glitter on. Um, yeah, th thinking I've got it in front of me and I don't know where I've got it. Put it under there. I'll find it when I don't want it, won't I? It's not there now ladies, sorry. But I I've had this quite a while, this frame. And uh, as you can see, it's a, a boxed frame. So I did the back with um, some paper, some uh, music paper. And as I say, these are only uh, plastic spoons from the pound shop. But this one, I decided to cut off the handles and I've put on... Um, oh, what do you have around your neck? Just to hold them up there and put managed to put some silk ribbons through it. So I decoupaged um shit this one could do with opening and moving a little bit. I decoupaged some um photos, pictures uh in the middle. I see it seemed to forget I forgot how to do a video ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words and um, I had to reduce it on my printer because I didn't have anything small enough so I just kept going down and down until uh, I, I got the size I wanted um, I then added little gems and things around it uh, and to hide the very top I put um, well, I've put a lovely diamante button on this one and some pearls on that one. Um, I was doing something to it and I thought, well, that's not a good idea. Um, what was I doing? But now I've got the heat, heat gun on it. And of course that wasn't a good idea because um, it's plastic, isn't it? <laughs> So it all melted, didn't it? So um, don't try and use heat guns on uh, plastic spoons. It doesn't work. I mean, you wouldn't know these were plastic at all. Some of these little gems in it are actually what you can buy to decorate your nails. So um, you can get such a lovely assortment and they come in very handy for small work like this. So again, I... I can't remember. I mean, yes, I painted it gold, uh, the the wood. See? Gold. Then I painted it white, or an off-white on top, and I, I rubbed it back uh, to get the distressed look. These I've made from moulds. Now, these are made, the bigger ones, or the thicker ones, I should say, are made with, like, air clay. I don't think I use polymer. I think it was air clay on these. But these thin ones, which I do like, I use gulk, you know, uh, filling up holes around the house, gulk. Of, um, uh, a, little, a little bit of um, uh, silicone. Yeah, I mixed up a little bit of silicone with it, with the gulk, and that... Uh, that won't crack it, you know, it makes it more elastic -y, etc. Um, I will do a little um, tutorial, like a little show on how I did that. Um, I wasn't satisfied with that, so the other night I took it off the wall and I decided to put some gold leaf. Um, I just used the... I just used the flakes. Yeah, you can get some pretty big flakes in these. So, so that's what I did with this. I keep seeing a, um, a hair from a brush, it looks like. I've got it now. So that was that one I did. So, you know, I mean, I don't know if you, people can still go to the pound shop. I've not, I've not been out for so long. But if you've got your, your old picnic 
um, or birthday uh, party plastic things. Um, they're a brilliant way of decorating them, as I say. So, but I do want to move on to metal, uh, uh, metal ones as well. So I've half started. I will show you. I'm on spoons. So these I got from um, a charity shop, or a, a, like a um, an antiques uh, bazaar type thing. And uh, I think I got a bundle for, I say a bundle, it was about six or seven for five pound. So I've been wondering, well I've been wanting to do this for a while. So again I had to reduce this picture. Um, this is what I've used from um, a paper pad and uh, they were bigger than that so I've had to reduce them down to, to what I want and I got it just the right size to go on top there so it's not been glazed yet I'll most probably use something like um, triple triple glaze on it to make it quite thick or even glossy accents I might do that and at the bottom I've just made a tiny little nest um, and put three little eggs in I'm not sure if I'm going to do much else. I have got to finish off the eggs with some little um, freckles on them. Um, as I say, and I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate around here yet. So it's work in progress. So, um, yeah. So that's another thing I've been up to, ladies. So I thought I'd share that with you. And, um, and I'll come back again. And I'll show you something else I've been doing. <coughs> Excuse me, and that's this, altering a book box, but I'll go into more detail of that, okay? So that's standing there. Thank you very much for watching, ladies. Do take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.